Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina and in today's video I wanted to go over with you guys my top five favorite handbags that I love using for the fall season. As you guys know already, we've been in the fall season for almost a month now and I love the fall season. Although in the area where I live, the seasons don't really change very much. Our weather is pretty mild where I live and we really only have, it's either hot or it's cold. But nonetheless, I still love the fall season. Um, I was born in the fall. My birthday just recently passed, so I am an October baby. And I just love this time during the year when the weather starts to get just a little bit cooler because then I can drink my hot tea at nighttime before bed like I always do. And, and then I also stock up on hot cocoa at the grocery store. And I like to drink that at nighttime in my little mug here that I purchased from Target probably about a year ago. So I just have that here as a prop just so you guys can have something to look at. A little bit of eye candy besides my hands moving around and me blabbing into my phone. So if you all love the fall season and you have your collection of handbags that you like to whip out during the fall, I hope that you'll stick around and keep watching. Okay, as you guys can see here, I have the very first handbag that I wanna share with you guys that I love using during this time of the year. This is the handbag from Louis Vuitton that started it all for me. This is the Louis Vuitton Sienna bag in the PM size. And as you can see, it is in this gorgeous Damier Abin print, which is the original print by Louis Vuitton. This was my very first handbag purchase from Louis Vuitton. I have had this bag, oh my goodness, for probably seven years now. And I remember I got this bag, my husband purchased this bag for me for my birthday. So I have fond memories of this bag. I've used this bag so many times within the last seven years. It's been such a joy to use. I use this sometimes as an everyday bag. I've used this as a travel bag. It's honestly been just the perfect Louis Vuitton, first Louis Vuitton purchase for me. And as you guys can see on my bag, I have these uh, twillies that I tied around the bag. If you watched my previous video that I did a couple months ago, I talked about these twillies that I purchased off of Amazon. And this was one of them in this pretty pop of yellow color. And if you look, there's like this kind of floral print here. And there's other pops of color on here too. But the majority of it is, you know, this yellow print here. And I love this print, uh, this twilly so much that I went back on Amazon and I purchased it in another colorway, which is kind of in this black and brown with hints of yellow on here. I really love this Twilly from Amazon. I always wanted to purchase a Twilly from Louis Vuitton, but with all of the price increases going on and inflation, you know, I have to ask myself, is it really even worth it? So I decided to go on Amazon and just try out a Twilly on there. And I'm really happy that I made that purchase. And as you guys can see, it also has the letter S on there for Sibby or Sabrina. And I just, I really love these Twillies here. And if you're interested, I'll be sure to link these Twillies down below. In my description box, this video is not sponsored by Amazon at all. This is just me sharing what I genuinely like. Um, so yes, here's my first bag for fall. Again, it's the Louis Vuitton Sienna in the PM size. It has this gorgeous red interior. I just have the long crossbody strap in the bag as well. The strap is very, very comfortable. Um, I don't tend to use this strap a lot. Uh, the only time I use this strap is if I'm out um, traveling and I just wanna be hands-free. That's really the only time that I whip out this strap, but it's very, very nice to have. I pri primarily like to use this bag just in the crook of my arm because that is my favorite type of bag. And 
I just, I love wearing bags like this because it makes me feel like such a little lady when I'm just out and about. So there is my first handbag for fall. Okay, my next favorite fall handbag is this beautiful bag from Coach. This is the Coach Tabby 26 in the color saddle. This bag, I love this brown shade on this bag. And I hope that my camera is picking up how pretty this shade of brown is. And again, this is in the color saddle, or at least that's what Coach calls it whenever they do this kind of brown. And I think that Coach really does a beautiful job with this saddle color on their bags. I think it's so pretty, so elegant, and so nice for the fall season especially. I mean, really, this could be a year-round bag because of this being a neutral color but I really love to take this out during the fall season. And it's kind of a baguette style. It does have this uh, short shoulder strap, which is removable. It does have the brass hardware, this C in the front of the bag. It has the pebbled leather, and it also has the smooth leather here. So I love that combination of the smooth and the pebbled leather on this bag. There is a back pocket, which is convenient for receipts. Um, I don't really use this back pocket to put my phone in because I don't want to stretch it out, but it's nice to slip cash or receipts when I'm just out and about running my errands. And then inside it has this gorgeous, like kind of red interior, which I think is a nice touch to this bag. And inside I just have, again, this bag comes with a thick, long crossbody strap. Uh, when I wear this bag, I primarily use it as a shoulder bag, but there have been times where, again, I wanna be hands-free and this thick shoulder strap comes in handy for those days when I really need to be hands-free, especially being a mommy to a, a boy toddler. So really, really nice that Coach has this feature with this bag. And then inside, you do have a slip pocket here in the front where you see that smooth leather. And then you have these dividers here. You have one compartment here, a zipper compartment here in the center, which is really good to put like cash, coins, just anything that is really personal that you don't want just kind of floating around in the bag because you can at least, you know, zip it up like so. And then finally, you just have that last compartment there with the slip pocket in the back. I really love this bag and I just love this shade of brown. I am a neutrals girl all the way. I tend to gravitate towards a lot of neutral bags, you know, a lot of blacks and browns. And I feel like Coach really makes a nice, brown saddle bag. The shade is so gorgeous and so perfect for the fall season. Moving right along to the next bag. My next most used handbag for the fall season is this Longchamp Small Le Pliage Tote. And this is in the color black with the brown handles and trim. And I love using this bag because it is made out of this nylon material and it is so carefree and easy to use especially during the fall season where i live you know sometimes during the fall it tends to be kind of rainy and again because of this nylon material this is the perfect bag to wear out when it on days when it's raining outside because the rain water literally just washes right off of this bag and I love how understated this bag is. As you guys just saw, the bag was folded up like so, which is another reason why I love it because it's good for travel. You could throw it inside of other bags and take it out when you're ready to use it. So it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. And this is the small size. So for me on my petite frame, I feel like this is the perfect bag size. When I tried on the large size, I purchased this bag um, during my time when I was working during a seasonal uh, position at Nordstrom. And when I tried on the large size, 
in the, the Le Pliage tote, I found that it was just a little too overwhelming on my figure. So this small size, I think, was a much better fit for me. And inside, it's just a black hole. And you do have just one slip pocket here on this side, as well as another slip pocket on that side. When I use this bag, because it's just a big black interior, I do usually use an organizer inside of this bag just so I can see my things better and also just to help keep my items really nice and organized because I am a neat freak. Okay, moving right along, I am now going back to Coach because as you guys know, if you've been watching my channel, the majority of the handbags I have in my collection are from Coach. I love that brand. Coach is my first love. So my fourth handbag that I love to use during the fall season is this lovely bag, which is the Coach Slim Turnlock Crossbody Bag in the Coach Signature Coated Canvas Print. I love using this bag. I initially purchased this particular bag because it kind of reminded me of the Celine Trio. Um, I'll try to pop a picture of what that bag looks like up on the screen, but just the way that it kind of has like the square shape and the different compartments here on the sides and up here on the bag, it kind of, to me, looked really similar to the Celine Trio. And I remember when this bag came out uh, at Coach, they had it in three colors, the black, the chalk, as well as in this signature print. And I was so tempted to get this bag in black but I decided not to, and I'm really glad that I did get it in this signature coated canvas print because I feel like this print is really pretty for fall. And I also feel that this print looks really nice up against plain outfits. So I think it's a nice way to kind of just add a little bit of more interest to a plain outfit. So here's the bag here. It just has the slip pocket here in the front with that brass turn lock closure. I don't really use the slip pocket here because it's kind of just useless, but it's nice that, it ha that that feature is there. And then inside you have this center compartment here. And if you can see on camera, that interior is kind of like almost similar to the, the Coach Tabby 26. It's like this like reddish, but yet there's like a hint of burgundy to it. It's a really pretty interior. And I love this rust color that you see throughout the bag as well here and that smooth leather. And then you have this zipper uh, compartment here as well as another zipper compartment there. And then inside I just have the long crossbody strap that this bag comes with which is really nice. So there is that bag. And I like using this as a quick grab and go. I'm able to fit my essentials inside of this bag and a little bit more, but again, I just love this print from Coach. I think it's really pretty, again, for the fall season. And I think it's quite elegant looking too. And it just adds a bit of interest whenever I'm wearing a really plain outfit. Okay, and last but not least, my last favorite bag that I've been reaching for this fall season that I've really been enjoy using is this beautiful bag that Coach recently came out with not too long ago, which is the Coach Revel bag. And I have mine in the color black. I shared a video where I did a reveal of this bag on my channel. I'll be sure to link it up above. But this bag comes in three colors, the black, it comes in a red color block color, as well as in the Coach Signature canvas print. But you guys, I've been loving this bag. I love how ladylike this bag is. I love the silhouette of this bag. It is so similar to the Louis Vuitton Alma in the BB size. I do find that this bag um, is a bit bigger though. If you watch that previous video where I talked about this bag, I did share the dimensions and this bag is a bit bigger than the Louis Vuitton Alma BB. 
but I think this is such a nice alternative to that bag and it's been such a joy to use. Now, if you see on the back here, I just have, this bag does come with the Coach 1941 hang tag. This bag also did come with the key hood, but funny story about the key hood, and I'm probably gonna do, I'm probably going to do a video in the near future about this, but I had a little incident with my key hood. I would, I went to my coach boutique to see if I could get the key hood for this bag hot stamped. And I could have gotten it hot stamped, but the way my initial was gonna be stamped on the key hood, I didn't like the placement of it. So I decided not to get my key hoods hot stamped. However, when I went to go ahead and put the key hood back on the bag, I noticed that there was a little boo-boo on the key hood. And I wish that I took a picture of it since I'm sitting here rambling about it to you guys. But on the key hood, just where the, like the stitching is, there was like a little bit, bit of peeling on the leather. And I just, I was a little disappointed that that happened. I don't know if that was something I did by mistake or if it just, happened like that randomly. I didn't notice it until after I got home from the Coach Boutique after I tried to get it hot stamped. But I did end up going back to the Coach Boutique because I know that they have a Coach Repair Workshop program. And being that, the, that at the time I only had the bag for less than a month, I decided to just take the key hood into the Coach Boutique to see if there was any way that I can have the repair workshop fix it. So I was able to do that. Um, I filled out the paperwork. The sales associate was really helpful. She made the process really easy and simple. I just filled out the paperwork. I turned the key hood in. And I think the processing time uh, in total is about four to six weeks. So I've been without my key hood for about two weeks now. So hopefully within the next month or so, um, you know, coach will mail me back the key hood and hopefully she'll be in much better condition and I'll try to take better care of her next time. Hopefully no more boo-boos after that. But if you guys would like to see a video about my experience with the coach repair workshop, uh, please let me know in the comment section down below. I have never had to take a handbag in uh, to coach to be repaired. All of my handbags that I've ever purchased from them, I've never had any issues. So this is a new experience for me. So if you guys would like to learn more about that after I get my key hood back, please let me know in the description box down below. But enough of that. Let me just show you guys still. Nonetheless, I still love this bag. It's been such a joy again to use. I love this black color. I love the this kind of honey golden stitching on the bag. I love that it comes with the 1941 hang tag as well as the key hood. The interior also has that honey golden uh, microfiber suede interior, really, really nice bag. And it has feet on the bottom and this bag is made out of genuine glove tan leather, but I've been loving this bag. I've always wanted a Louis Vuitton Alma BB, but the way the price, the price of that bag at this point is just ridiculous. So when I saw this available at Coach, I just, I had to get it. And it's such a cute ladylike bag to me. And I will try to do a video in the near future now that I've had this bag for well over a month. I'll try to do a more in-depth review of this bag and just pros and cons of it. If you guys would like to see that, again, let me know in the comment section down below. But I've lo been loving this bag for fall. Love, 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 love this bag. She's so elegant and ladylike. Alrighty guys, so that's the end of this video. Please share with me in the comment section down below, what are some of your favorite handbags that you like to use during the fall season. And let me know if you own any of these bags that I shared with you guys today. If you own any of these bags in your collection, in your handbag collection, please share and let me know that as well. 
down below in the comment section. I hope you all enjoyed this video and thank you for spending some of your time with me today. And as always, thank you for watching and take care until next time. Bye.